All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So we back. We back. We back. We back, man. We back. Look, look. 50 Cent and Drake, they might have an issue. You know what I'm saying? They might have a problem. And, um, yeah, so we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. 12 o'clock show. Thank y'all for being here with me. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I got to give you my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash app, PayPal's in the description. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers and a million by Monday morning. You know what it is. Let me know where you're from too, man. I really appreciate it. So look, we're going to get into this. Come courtesy of Marcus at work. And yeah, let's get it, man. I appreciate y'all being here with me at 12 o'clock on your lunch break. Hope y'all went out and got yourself a nice chicken cheese steak, extra mayo, extra ketchup, fried onions, raw onions. I know a lot of people don't like onions, but onions is good. You know, it tastes good. So yeah, man, let's get to it, man. We be back to discuss. All right, this comes courtesy of Marcus at work. You know what it is. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So, Fiddy. Fiddy recently did an interview with Hot 97 with Ebro, and he kind of started talking about the Kendrick Lamar battle, as well as his thoughts with the J. Cole thing. So, first off... Do you think um, you watched the, the, the battle between them? You was paying attention? Yeah, yeah, it was I'm entertaining watching. for you as a, as a rap fan? It was good for the culture, bro. Yo, look at that. That's funny. Look at that. But <laughs> <laughs> uh. make both of them produce material to stop the standard faster. At first, I had Kendrick not even in it because it was like boom, boom. He hit two, three times, and I ain't seen nothing coming from Kendrick. And then it was like Kendrick was making a CD instead of a response. <laughs> Kendrick is always gonna be a media darling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact that's a fact i said that i said that i said kendrick was like he was in album mode even when he was dissing drake because he was he made you feel like these songs was something he could have put kendrick could have literally put out an ep he could have turned all those songs he could have did like two more songs and turned that into an album like, he could have turned that into an album. You know what would have been, have been fire? If they both would have had did a battle album and put that out. The, the, the Kendrick, the Kendrick and, and Drake uh, album, battle album, that joint would have probably sold 100 million records, bro. People would have brought that. Like, for real, people would have brought that. If they would have put both of those, if they would have put all of those songs on the same CD and sold it as, a, like, a... a a battle CD, yeah, they would have broke records with that. Anything they would have did at that time would have broke records, but let's keep it going. Mm. And I told him, I said, because you, he has the ability to make you believe he had no idea this was going to happen. Mm. Like, I look at him and I go, <laughs> nah, you can't do that to me. Right, right, like, I know. <laughs> You knew what the f you was working. Right. You worked on it and it and it paid off. Don't act like you didn't know it was gonna happen. And he's like, he does that. Like, cause he'll be like, yo, <laughs> like wow, like that energy's right. there. <laughs> you, did you think Kendrick had it in him to go as hard as he did? I, look, when they started going, that that they like like us. I don't have to tell you how territorial West Coast people are. Yeah, it's not just ours. Just the people in general. <laughs> So when it gets to the West Coast side, and they not like us, they not like us. They go and get together. Like you put them on the stage together. That was all done properly. Yeah, no, it was. You enjoyed it. Yes, <laughs> and they're different artists. So among all of that, whether you agree or disagree, <laughs> yo, that's true. 
The thing is, West Coast energy is different. Even on this page, even on this channel, I can tell y'all that the West Coast energy is different. It's different. They move different. They talk different. They, they, they have a different feel about how they approach things. Even in these, like, I'll be honest with you, a lot of my donations came from people from the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Some people, you know, hit me up and was like, I'm from the West Coast, or thank you so much for covering Kendrick. They really, the West Coast, I would even go as far as saying the West Coast appreciates their artists more than the South do. They love their artists on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really do. And it's one of those things where it's kind of, like, amazing to see. Like, Cali is on a whole nother level when it comes to supporting their artists. It's really only two states on the West Coast. Like, it's California and Washington State. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, if you count in Nevada and all them, but we talking, like, on the coast. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, it's, it's, they really, really, really support their artists. You know what I'm saying? They really do. And the West Coast got a lot of good artists, man. They got a lot of girl. I was argue. I would argue that the West Coast probably got the best artists right now. To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying. But let's keep it going. He also led into the whole J Cole situation. He felt that the J Cole situation kind of hurt him a little bit. He was expecting some competition, some pushback from Cole. What about J Cole, man? Well, uh, I don't, I, you know, no, what happened? What happened? He didn't want to be a part of it. He said he didn't want, that's not who he was. I know. So what happened with Jake? Oh. <laughs> so what happened with that? I'm just saying to you, the culture, the culture, the competitive nature of it. So do you think that someone can be, because we we defended J. Cole because, frankly, it wasn't in him to do it, and he made the decision. And he took ownership. He, he, took ownership. he took ownership of it. He was like, yo, I made a, he said I made a whack move. He even apologized, and he dipped out. Now, the only problem I have was recently he just put out a song, I don't know if you heard it, called Port Antonio, where he said, I would have won the battle, but I would have lost the brother. And we was like, yeah, that we didn't. Yeah, he's bugging for that. J. Cole, this King Torture Talk, you bugging for that, nigga. You bugging. You, you, can't, you can't do that. But, yeah, be on some serious shit. I mean, let's, let's be clear here. At this point, you don't wait all the way into the end of the battle to come out and say that, yeah, uh, I would have won. Like, come on, bro. You wouldn't have won off of off of off of seven minute drill. <laughs> Cause that was not that good. To be honest with you. I one of my boys text me early in the morning, like, oh, he flamed your boy. I, t I I deleted his number. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Don't play with me. We didn't agree with that. That wasn't a great move. Can't say that. Can't, you can't come out and say but do you I think, won. Do you think you're disqualified? <laughs> Is he disqualified from being in the greats conversation? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You just said feelings were valid, guys. You just said his feelings were valid. They are. And this is why when he stopped, it's because he felt like he could lose a brother. That's but right. he would have won the battle. Now, we did think, we. I was looking for J. Cole. Like, I'm like, ooh, let me see what he's going to do. And that, J. Cole's nice. Yes. Dead nice. Yes, and then when I go, oh, no. Why did you do that? I wanted to call him and tell him, don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's the truth. That's the truth. He would have not won that battle. He would have got, I'm going to tell you like this. If y'all think Drake, he would have ruined J. Cole worse than Drake. Like he would have really smoked J. Cole. And not because J. Cole got skeletons in his closet and like that. But you got to understand for certain MCs, you give them certain levels of hell. And he would have gave J. Cole a whole nother level of hell. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Because Kendrick is a artist. He paints pictures. He can do whatever. J. Cole is an artist too, but J. Cole is 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 he's very good. He's very good at what he does, but he's not on Kendrick level. You know what I'm saying? It's two different type of levels. It's like, it's like Ryu versus Akuma. You know what I'm saying? 
and not the evil Ryu, not the just the regular regular Ryu with the backpack on the 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 sleeping bag on his back, versus Akuma with the big beads. That's Kendrick. So that's the thing, man. Oh. You think it hurts him? Yes. Now he carried on a little bit talking about his Las Vegas residency and all of that. Nobody cares about that. So do you guys agree with what he said about J. Cole or what he said about Kendrick and or Drake dealing with the battle in the current state of things? Put your comments below. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Make sure y'all go follow Marcus at work. Of course, the links will be in the description. But look, man. Drake, J Drake and J. Cole, I mean, at this point, there's really nothing they can do with Kendrick Lamar, bro. He's, he's already out of here. And I think that this beef went on and it's still going on as far as, like, not a beef, but more like just people talking about it. Because this is why I say this battle is the greatest battle ever. Because we're still talking about it. And it's still, believe it or not, it still feels it still feels very relevant. Even though it's been over. It feels so relevant. You know what I'm saying? So I want to I just want people to know, man, like, like, I'm 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 like this. I want to see what happens next in 2025. Cause I think that, and even though we talk, we all talk crazy about certain things and we all say it ain't gonna be no round two but these dudes are gonna always have some shots to throw at each other all three of them you know what i'm saying all three of them and i definitely think that kendrick he he has he has the smoke but he's waiting for the right opportunity to let these dudes have it that's what i feel I just, it, or if not i just don't think he's gonna do anything but he, if they come out with come talking crazy again, you already know K Dot gonna put one on their head. So anyway, you're out of here, baby. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Have a good afternoon. Torture talk. Twelve o'clock show over. Six o'clock show coming up.